Hello, my name is Peter West with West Networks, and today I'm gonna to demonstrate drop-in mode on the Peplink Balance routers. Drop-in mode allows you to add multiple internet connections to an existing infrastructure. Okay, so what we currently have is the ISP handing a static IP address to our Sophos UTM, and then the Sophos UTM is connected to our LAN. And you can see here, here's my ISP handoff, um, we have uh, 98.187.228.78/29. That's uh, our demo Cox IP address. But what's important here is the default gateway. The default gateway is 98.187.228.177. And what what that means is the Sophos is talking to the gateway. And in order to add a Peplink router in drop-in mode, we're not going to change anything on the Sophos. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the Peplink router in place. We're gonna program it with an additional static IP. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a, a Peplink router. It's online via in control with a LTE uh, modem plugged into WAN 1. This way I can program the router without it being connected to the, uh, to the network. So I'm gonna go to the network settings and I'm gonna enable drop-in mode. So I'm gonna go to my network settings, drop-in mode settings. I'm gonna check this box. LAN 1 with bypass. And once again, I'm gonna put this default gateway in there, dot 77. Oh, sorry, dot 179. Name, drop in mode. 8.8.8.8. You wanna have DHCP disabled, hit save. So there's my drop in mode settings. Now go to my WAN. And that's the whole point of, of doing drop-in mode with a Peplink router is to be able to have that backup. So we're gonna do a backup LTE. I'm gonna program this for 10 megabits per second just so it doesn't go overkill. And I'm gonna hit save. And you'll see my drop-in mode there. And I'm gonna enable my WAN 2, which is my backup internet connection. So now that my, WAN, my two WANs have been programmed, I'm gonna hit apply, changes. We're gonna install the, so, the Peplink router here. So I'm gonna hit apply. We're gonna bring the Peplink router in place right here. And so now you have the Peplink router with its backup internet connection. And remember, we, we had the backup internet connection as ISP number two. And then, so, so LAN, Here's my LAN port that's gonna to go to the Sophos, and then here's my WAN port. So I'm gonna move the Sophos WAN port, internet port, to the Peplink, and then I'm gonna plug the Peplink into the Sophos internet port. And once again, I've never made a single change to the Sophos. And so now, the Peplink is getting an IP address, pu public static IP. It's then passing in drop-in mode to the Sophos, but now I can add two additional internet connections uh, to, the, to the Sophos. So you'll see that I'm in drop-in mode. You can see my IP is online, my LTE is online, and I have the router. So I'm gonna make one quick outbound change just to make uh, this a little bit faster for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna tell it to prioritize the traffic over the drop-in mode circuit. Um, this will allow the LTE, because the LTE is kind of slower than a high-speed internet connection, to second. So I'm doing drop-in mode primary, then, then use LTE only if the primary circuit is, is not available. And I'm gonna hit apply changes. And so now I'm gonna start a ping, a constant ping to Google. And you can see that it's pinging. Now, when I fail over, this is not bonding, so there will be some drop packets, but the idea is to show that when the internet crashes or goes down, that it will fail over. So, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug my internet connection. So I unplug my WAN1 internet connection. And what's gonna happen is the router is gonna see that WAN1 failed, and it's gonna start rerouting the traffic over the LTE circuit. So I've unplugged the WAN1. So now I'm gonna plug WAN1 back in, so that the internet starts working over that, that connection again. And once again, when it fails back, it's gonna drop that connection and fail back over to, to the uh, cable provider.
and then it's failed back over to the cable provider. Now, let's assume that the balance router crashes, which it would never happen, but if it does, we're gonna unplug the power to the balance router. Now there is no power going to this router. The peplink is still plugged in, or the Sophos is plugged into the peplink. I lost one packet. So drop in mode with LAN bypass allows that this connection to the cable provider to work. And I'm gonna show you that that is actually the case because I'm gonna unplug the cable provider here. And now we've lost internet connectivity. So it is in fact LAN bypassing the connection. I can plug this back in and my traffic starts slowing again. So the Peplink balance router in drop-in mode allows us to add additional circuits to an existing firewall configuration without making any changes to your LAN or WAN architecture, but allows you to add additional circuits. Further, it adds protection by having bypass mode that in the event that the router is off, that you don't lose your primary circuit. I hope you found this information valuable and that using the demonstration, you would be able to set this up yourself. If you need any help, please feel free to reach out to Peplink anytime and have a great day. Take 11. I hope you found this information. Take 12. I hope you found this information. Take 13. I hope you found this information something valuable. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Take 14.